This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV. Uh, we're here at the International Workboat Show in New Orleans, and we're very pleased to have Dave Piera, uh, sales engineer with R.W. Fernstrom. And first and foremost, Dave, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you, Greg. It's a pleasure. So Dave, uh, I'm sure that many people who watch our videos, read the magazine, know the R.W. Fernstrom name and the company. Uh, but for those who might not know, uh, can you just give a brief description of your company and your responsibilities? Sure. We are uh, a marine heat exchanger manufacturer. We manufacture grid cooler, keel coolers, wake-up box coolers, and we also sell uh, tranter heat exchangers. Uh, my role is engineering, sales engineer with the company. Uh, I've been with the company for 11 years now. Dave, specifically, I know during our uh, recent conversation, uh, you were talking about some potential issues with the use of coffer dams, the increased use of coffer dams, and the potential problems that they could create for the keel coolers. <clears throat> for those uninitiated on the topic, uh, could you just give a brief overview of what the potential problems are? Well, we've seen them a lot in passenger vessels and ferries in the past, but one of the trends that I'm starting to see is more fishing vessels, mm -hmm. tugs, and push boats are also starting to use coffer dams with keel coolers. Okay. When a keel cooler is installed inside of a coffer dam, mm -hmm. like the example shown here, what happens is is a pressurized system is formed around the keel cooler nozzle. Okay. And that pressure may cause coolant to seep through the keel cooler nozzle threads, mm -hmm. and that can result in a loss of coolant. So R.W. Fernstrom has developed a compression sealing kit, which can help prevent that problem. A compression sealing kit is an additional soft rubber gasket mm -hmm. and an additional washer. Okay. And it's used together with the keel cooler gasket and provided washer. Okay. So what happens is, is when compressed, the soft rubber gasket creates a seal around the keel cooler nozzle threads and prevents any coolant from seeping outside of the vessel. Was this something that you saw, or was this brought to you by your customers? The problem was recognized back in the mid-90s, mid, mid -90s, mm -hmm. um, and it was brought to us from one of our customers. Okay. So what we did internally is we did um, some internal testing, mm -hmm. and we found that the soft rubber gasket and additional washer installed inside of the cofferdam was the best solution to prevent the seeping of the coolant. Obviously, your company uh, is a consultant with your clients daily, globally. Uh, when looking at potential problems regarding the coffer dam and the keel cooler, can you just give me some insight on how you advise them today? Sure. One of the most common things that we see is just excessive use of sealant and caulking when the keel cooler is installed. Mm -hmm. um, some of the installations we've seen, there's just been caulking and sealant um, all over the on the outside of the hall and mm -hmm. all over on the inside and it's really not necessary to use that much sealant when you're installing mm -hmm. a keel cooler um, what we recommend is just a single bead of a polysulfide based sealant to be applied on the outside of the hall okay and then a single bead also on the inside of the hall okay and then we recommend just torquing the keel cooler to the to the torque values that are in the installation manual okay then once the sealant sets, we like to see that keel cooler torqued one more time. It's a busy show, and we very much appreciate your time. I hope you have a good rest of the show, and uh, thanks again. Thanks, Greg. It's, it's my pleasure. Okay. This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV.